The Might and Magic series is one of my personal favorites. I remember playing the originals all through the latest incarnations of both Might and Magic and Heroes of Might and Magic. And it's exciting that a designer as respected and talented as Raphael is finally going to have a chance to take it to the next level. Raphael and his team at Arcane have been great to work with. They understand the technical issues, they understand how to take the capabilities represented by the source engine and use them to build really exciting and innovative gameplay. It's an insight into how to take technology and turn it into something that's exciting and meaningful a gamer that really has distinguished their team. When we were developing Source, we wanted great characters and great environments, and we wanted them to be more interactive. We wanted you to be able to play with the characters. We wanted the environments to respond to you. So the emotional system in the AI makes the characters respond and makes their performances more compelling. Physics makes the world more meaningful. The world isn't just a set anymore, it's a toolbox that you're using as you travel through the experience. So as the source engine has continued to evolve, new technologies are starting to come online. One of those, for example, is high dynamic range rendering, which the Arcane team is using really well. We're also interested in seeing how some of the technologies with NPC interactions are going to be taken advantage of first in the might and magic game they're developing.